Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna make this quick. I was recommended by a viewer to go ahead and try out Michael Myers for the Lights Out game mode, and we're gonna basically see if he can live up to the same expectations that Ghostface has essentially set in terms of the stealth killers being a lot better for the mode than other killers. So with that being said, I got a couple matches here to see how he plays out within a couple of the matches, and let's get right into it. Treatment Theater, okie dokie. Will, we as a shape have any luck with anything today? I was recommended this by a viewer to go through and to try to see if I can get some stalking capabilities done with the shape. Because we all were here for when Ghostface performed well. Can the shape do this so too? And my hypothesis, by the way, is no. My hypothesis is that Ghostface's stalking rate rewards him a lot faster than the shape does. So I think it's going to be very difficult to convince anybody. See? Just like that. Also, this map is not great either. I'm not going to go anywhere because they're going to be like right here. <clears throat> That's fine. I don't really care that that happened. Let's go ahead and kick the generator. Myers is just a mouse one killer at this rate. Well, there is someone is. Ooh, nice. Nice window vault. I can't see anything to be able to stop that. Fuck. I don't even know how this works. Good quick hit. Uh, good quick first hit in there. Can't stalk over that. Okay, got a lot of good stalking from that as well. I'm hoping that although generators are getting done, if I can kind of get this um, built up and get a collateral going, I'll be, I'll be able to catch back up again. Listen out, going straight. Just gonna go to the next pallet to throw it down. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. Okay, okay, so we know two generators out of the five are complete. Let's see if I can like hook them and see if I can go and try to get a better situation going. All I need is like one good tier three if, and have them grouped together to get a good hit on. Fucking hell, dude. This mode just feels at times. So if Survivor started. Yep, this map too with all the windows and all the pallets. Just not a good match. Yeah, why do I always play against like all these like greatly skilled survivors? Uh, all of them know really know what they're doing. <laughs> Fuck me, man. If you ever want authenticity, there you go. I just play whatever match I get. Alright. Hopefully I can get a jump on some people. I am tier 3, should still be no terrorists or anything. Maybe I can secure something. Am I just this unlucky that I pick all the generators that nobody's at? There's actually no way, dude. So that was a waste. There you have it. This map isn't good for, for Myers for this Slides Out mode. Nothing about this encourages Myers as a... Uh, Stealth gameplay. That's fine. Try to get Rebecca here. If I can down here again, that'd be nice. I'll grab him off. Oh my gosh, perfect timing. Actually phenomenal timing. Can I get this basement hook? Oh my god. If I can get this basement hook... I know I saw someone down, down here. Bro, I'm not gonna leave. I think someone was down here. Maybe I am just dumb. Got to do a little bit of a patrol thing here. Alright, he actually killed himself. That's excellent. We needed him to die. See if I can get some good charge on Fang here. Damn, all of it done already.
Well, fuck me, right? Can I get anybody opening a gate, maybe? Get tier 3 and start collateraling everybody? Come on, come on. Yes! Fuck you! Anybody else want a, 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 a taste of this? Oh, he ran away all the way, didn't he? Oh, I know that filthy bastard did. Okay. Oh, man. But we got a secondary person. I'll take it. Can I get another person? Come on, somebody has to be chilling around here. Surely you guys are just waiting for me. To lose my tier 3. Now I have to go through here. Not that pal that's going to absolutely stop me. Man, I, I hate that too. The gens go way too fast in this game mode. My verdict so far with Myers is that no, he's not he's not the stealth killer to play. Well, fuck. I mean, I don't really care that much. You can open that gate all you want. All that lets me do is get this guy hooked. And if you want to go and if you try to go in for the save, then you're also fucked. See, can I bait something here? Oh. That was dumb. That's even dumber. I'll take it. I'll take the swap. Are you serious? I can get this guy hooked and then I can go with the last guy. I do not care that you're right there, dude. It does not hurt my feelings. Look, this is what we're gonna do. We get this guy hooked, we force this last guy out, and then we can pick the other guy up. Yep, boom, right there. Now that he's forced out and this guy and Ada's on the, the hook, I can pick this guy up and try to take him to the death hook. Though this is problematic though, I don't got any hook to take him to. Oh. Fuck! Oh my god, he has that god pal too. He has that god pal. Mm, fucking shit, dude. This game sucks my ass, dude. No! What is with the spawns for this? Fuck! I can't get around him! Damn it, dude. Are you serious? Okay, so the family residence, Yamoka State. This might be better. This could be better for, for, for Michael here. This could be a better, better map for him. The last map, the Larry's Memorial Institute, does not give credence to the shape. In every possible shape and form, it doesn't help him out. So let's just... I mean, because of the small, tight space, and then you also have, um... Yeah, it's small, tight space, and he can't hide behind walls or anything. So, like, he gets, like, hardly any time to be able to shock people without them noticing, if they're just looking around. In every possible way, can they see him? Can I... Here we go. Stalk from a distance. They seen him regardless, so I'm not out of range. Let's go ahead and kick this generator. Surely he's out of the pallet somewhere. He didn't run all the way away, did he? He did? Are you serious? Bro, he ran in this direction. Did he just go around the entirety of everything? Well, I guess I'm just dog shit at tracking. I see he outran me. What sucks about that is just a lot of waste of time. Oh! Come on now. What the fuck? I swung and it didn't work! I had to click it a second time! That's some bullshit! Nope. Knew that was gonna be there. Fuck me, man. I just make some of the worst decisions and have the worst luck. Okay. Throw that down. Let's go ahead and backpedal for a second. 
Let's try to see if that guy went back to the other generator. Yes, he did. He did get there. Can I find him? Can I see him? Of course, you got all that generator sound. You can't put enough pressure on these people in this game. There's no way in doing it. Okay, so here's the save. Can I find anybody? Can I see or find a single person? But then that just makes it worse. In that game of hide and seek, but I can't fucking find nobody. Alright, well, I know there's somebody over here. I know Ada went back over here, so if she's gonna be on the generator, I can find her again. Yeah, she went back on it. How do you get healed so fast? So somebody must be around here too. That for some reason I can't see. Alright, Ada, well, you're gonna have to keep being the puppet until I find somebody else. Not intentionally trying to go after the same person, but... When you, can, when you can't locate anybody else, what can you what else can you do? And then now, just to be able to rebuild back up this stock, I have to somehow pull out out the impossible. Oh, there's oh, it's a different one. So I, I found a different Ada. I didn't even realize that. Okay, she missed that. She missed that pallet. I'll take it. Here's some, a, a little bit of pressure we're applying here. I know that there's two people on this side of the map, so that's why I'm going back over here. Because I know they're going to be sitting on that generator. Oh, come on. There we go. Got this exposed, this insta down. All charged up. Excellent. We'll go ahead and pick her up. Because nobody really has any items, this should be pretty decent for us. Where'd that go off? Right there? Alright, let's hook her here on, on this hook. I would go back, but someone's literally right here. There you are. Boom! There we go. Much better of a start. That's because I'm actually going to find people right now. And, and I can take, take advantage of my fully charged... Ability. Somebody's gonna be going for that save. I know it. So we're gonna go ahead and give this hook and make our way back here. This would be excellent to stop. Excellent to stop. Is he gonna kill himself? Let's go over here. Back over here. Oh my god. Such a strong position to hold here between two people. Is she gonna die too? Are you gonna, are you gonna get yourself killed? Go around here, drift around, check around. I mean, I think the sad part is people talk about how they don't enjoy this mode, kind of encouraging camping and stuff, but this is the harsh reality of this mode. Without any without any perks or any loadout or any gen slowdown abilities, what happens with, with this mode is that we have a killer are essentially forced into having to patrol areas or camp because we have like no ability to track. I say we, like, I, I don't play both sides. Killers have no ability to track, pretty much, at all. They have, um... It's incredibly dark as well for them, too, just like the survivors, so you can't really see anybody, you see anything. There's no gen slowdown, and there's no chase perks, and, uh, people's chase abilities are also, like, made into its weakest form. So, what, what ends up happening... Oh, there we go. Excellent. Oh, he's going in that direction. So what ends up happening is, like, if survivors just sit on generators, which they could hear, by the way, they could hear the generators to know where they're at, and they just sit on them, we have, like, no way to truly... Or killers have, like, no way to truly regress these generators, which means that once... If everybody spawns and everybody kind of goes to their own separate generators, by the time you kind of finish one different chase, or one or two chases, you have, like, half the generators in the match done. So, as a killer, when you finally... You know, hook somebody and two gens were done off of the first hook and, Or possibly even a third you kind of have to like feel the need to patrol them all the times because you wouldn't be able to secure some sort of kill or get back some sort of pressure like Because no perks no add-ons and people's abilities aren't like fully maximized in this mode You can't use them properly the game rushes too fast. This, this mode is encouraging survivors to 
almost immediately find generators upon spawning by listening for them. And it just puts and because it's lights out, they have to get in and out because they, they don't have perks to set themselves. And again, it just forces uh, survivors into basically rushing out gens and then killers having to kind of patrol a camp to kind of make up for the fact that they can't track people or find people very easily. Because that's what the met current meta does in DVD. That's what how the current regular game mode does. You could make an argument that people should probably go for the people after the first hook because they actually have the capabilities of going to find other people. When this mode doesn't really let you do that. So, so if this mode basically makes it a hundred times more difficult to track survivors, and you have no gen slowdown, and you have no perks that help or add on top of your abilities, and the survivors on the vice versa have to go now just rush out gens because they also have no means to stay alive longer, and it's harder for them to see. You create this dilemma where gens are being rushed and the killers are having the patrol and camp to be able to get anywhere. I know it's a very long-winded way of explaining all of that, but I, know I see a lot of frustrations and people kind of slowly blaming one side or the other, which I think is very weird. Like the, this game mode clearly is encouraging people to play in ways that are not that fun sometimes. Are you just sitting here? Okay, so I see what happens. There's like a weird cooldown thing in between stalking and finding a survivor. When you stalk and let go, you, there's like a whole cooldown before you are able to swing, even if you were to level up. Boom! Even if you were to level up like your tier, it still does the same thing. Okay, this other guy's doing a really good job at avoiding me. He's going to be looking probably for the gen now, so let's go ahead and just kind of rush around here. Oh, he's here. Alright, I don't think the hatch is over here, so we're going to take the time to stalk him. Is he camping the pallet? I think he is. Yep. Boom, perfect. I'm only not breaking the pallet so I can corner him into the corner of the map. I still lost him, even though I tried to do just that. What the fuck, man? We got some mad juking skills. I'm as blind as a bat. Alright, I like guess I just have to go run around now. Let's just use Myers as tier 3 to try to get some speed boost to find this hatch. Because I'm fucked otherwise. Right here. Perfect! Found it! You're all mine, buddy! Absolute oh no, look how far those gates spawned. And you can't see the gate, so you, I can't patrol them properly. Fuck, this mode is... This mode kind of fundamentally changes the way you, you must play. Please be here, let me get here in time. No, it's not. Oh my god. I'm actually so screwed here. My last chance. You are joking. What? I know it's risky and all, but how have you not touched one of these gates? There you are. I will not let you out of my sight now. Good rock playing. <laughs> he gave up. He knew it. Wow. What a match. Dude, what is with these... This mode spawning hooks so far away from each other. Are you serious? It was not just this far away, but it's in here. That's all kinds of fucked up. Some of these names is crazy. Not Kid Nation. Dead Girl Kitty. What are these names? Final verdict, I guess. Yeah. Verdict, verdict, verdict. Yeah, this mode does not favor Myers as much. People might think it does, and there would be some truth to it if you could bring some sem uh, se you know, semblance of a loadout, but I think what I'm trying to say is, uh, as long as Myers' base kit... He, I mean, also, Myers, uh, as a side note, needs a buff for sure. He needs a little bit of a buff, buff. But the problem is, Ghostface stalking is faster, and he gets more rewarded for stalking individual survivors. So he and he's also able to crouch and also be able to lean and hide behind the corners and stuff. So he can stalk things without being seen faster. Also, his range is just you know farther away from the shape, so you can stalk somebody a little bit easier as Ghostface and never be seen in this mode. 
so Myers doesn't really work that well because he has to be way closer. He's tall. He's a lot slower at stalking. It, it's just not going to work for him as much. So I would go. I would refer back to my original video and say, hey, if you want a strong killer um, for this mode while it's around, go ahead and play Ghostface. Um, otherwise, I also encourage people not to play Ghostface. Play all the killers. Make it more fun. Okay, nobody wants to always play certain modes if everybody's just trying to maximize every match by playing the same old same old so i recommend everybody at all times to be playing whatever makes them happy but that being said thank you guys so much for watching my name is mac i'll talk to you guys all later peace out